Hi, I'm Chef Mami Tess, and today we will be doing for you a Christmas meatloaf. This can be a star of your Noche Buena. Again, again, again. Are you serious? <laughs> First ingredient that we will put is the meat. Ito po ay leanest part of the ground pork and the beef. So you mix them all together. Then you put the garlic. Then we put the onion. And then we will add the either soy sauce or Worcestershire sauce. And we will put the milk. This will add moisture to your meat later. Para hindi po siya dry na dry, hindi naman po dapat siyang basang-basa. Kasi pag basang-basa yung meat nyo, it will not bind. Next, we'll put the breadcrumbs. The bread will act as a binder and as an extender. So, next will be the ketchup. This will add tanginess or medyo a bit sweet and sour to your meatloaf. Then, the tomato sauce. In the recipe, you will find the parmesan cheese that we will put in this meatloaf. But my preference is to add two kinds of cheeses, the parmesan and the cheddar. So we will add the cheddar and then we will add the parmesan cheese. Wow! This will add saltiness to your meatloaf. And then we will put in the herbs. So this is mixed Italian herbs. And then we will add the salt. I call this layering of flavor. Next, we will add the bacon to your meatloaf. And then comes the binder. Now, we will be using two whole fresh eggs. Just to make sure na walang shell na mapupunta dito, you can crack the egg on a separate bowl. Now, this is the potato powder. It will really bind your meatloaf very, very well. Kailangan nyo talagang i-press down or mix together. If you cannot do this using a wooden spoon, better to use your hand. Mix your meatloaf very, very well. For as long as you will see that all your ingredients are already blended. Nagdidikit-dikit lahat or namimix na mabuti, then it's ready to mold in your pan or any molder that you will use. Now, avoid adding more liquid. Tama na po yung liquid na ginamit natin, the milk and the soy sauce. When we bake this, the juice of the meat and the rest of the ingredients will come out as we finish baking it. Okay, so I think this is okay. We can put this in our bundt pan. When you brush the oil, you can use a swirling motion without any brush. Pwede nyo ikot-ikot po yung inyong bundt pan para pumanta yung oil. But of course, later on, the oil will still settle sa bottom and that will make your meatloaf easier to unmold. Okay, this is our bacon and our bell peppers. We will use this for our decor. Okay, now we're putting the bacon and then we will cut the bell pepper first into a star. Probably, yung creative uh, juices nyo dito lalabas, i-imagine nyo na pag binaligtad nyo to, ano yung magiging itsura niya. But it doesn't really have to be that perfect. Okay, now you have the red, the yellow, and the green. I think this is more than enough. Do not throw this one. Save this for later. You need a big spoon or spatula to press the meat very, very well. When you present it later, mataas siya at saka maganda. Siksik na siksik yung pagkakalagay. If you don't have any oven, the option that you can use is to steam. Kaya lang, it will take a longer time when you steam this one. But I suggest na masarap din ang steam kasi yung moisture ng pag nagsisteam ka, mas marami, di ba, kesa sa baking. A meatloaf can be served 
in so many different ways. Pwede siyang sandwich or on a bread and then pwede rin siyang with mashed potato or pwede rin siyang yung simple buttered pastas, pwede rin. Kasi malasa na siya so you just need an accompaniment or a complimentary starch to go with this. So, we were able to fill this up 2 kilos of ground meat. Exacto! Later, pagkaluto nito, pagka-bake, makikita nyo medyo may shrinkage siya. And we will close this one by moving the bacon and we will pop this in the oven. We will be baking it for approximately 1 hour and 30 minutes. While waiting for our meatloaf to be baked, we will do the glaze. So what we have here is strawberry jam. Then we have the tomato ketchup. Then we'll mix the honey. And then we will add a little soy sauce. So we will just heat this up just a little. So this is our cooled meatloaf. But before we plate it, make sure that you cool it down for approximately an hour or two. And now we are ready to plate it. Support the plate. Flip it. There. Let's see. It is shaped like a bond cake, but this is your meatloaf. Then we start glazing. Looks so yummy. We can start decorating it. This mashed potato is so good. It is the Idaho one mashed potato flavored with four cheese. So you can just scoop it like this. I like using this powdered Idaho one mashed potato because it's easy and you don't need to boil the potatoes. Shortens your cooking time. We can add slices of cherry tomatoes, our bell peppers. And lastly, the cheese. This is our Christmas wreath meatloaf. A very Merry Christmas to everyone! For all the best things in life, I feel the love that royal duty free.